hi everyone so in this new video i will show you the method used to find the dimensions of any structures microwave structure in function of uh, wavelength so if we talk about wavelength we have two cases wavelength in free space okay and wavelength in uh, we can talk about uh, given wavelength uh, wavelength in substrates with the electric constant okay so in our example we, we work uh, in a simple antenna okay so this antenna has uh, width and length with a uh, substrate equal uh, 50 millimeter and uh, length substrate equal 80 millimeter okay we have length and uh, width of our uh, antenna and uh, ash is the chickens substrate the height of our substrate and we have the resonance, the resonance frequency equal to 2.5 years is the frequency of our antenna so if we need to calculate uh, the dimensions in function of lambda zero we need to find lambda zero firstly okay so we, we use this uh, equation lambda zero equal the ratio between a uh, speed of light c and frequency resonance frequency okay uh, c is the speed of light in this space equal 3 multiplied by 10 uh, 10 empowered 8 meter per second and uh, our frequency resonance frequency equal 2.5 gigahertz so if we replace these values in our relation lambda zero equal uh, zero pound uh, 12 meter which uh, mean uh, 120 millimeters so we can find lambda zero and to find our dimensions in function of lambda zero we can use this method we divide uh, the width of our substrate and the length of our substrate by uh, lambda zero okay so we have width of substrate divided by lambda zero so y of our substrate equal 50 uh, millimeter divided by 120 millimeter it's equal 0 0.460 uh, lambda zero so this is the first dimension in function of lambda zero it's the same for uh, the length so we divide length of our substrate by lambda zero so we have our length substrate equal uh, 80 millimeter divided by lambda zero equal 120 millimeters so equal 0 0.666 lambda zero okay so this is for uh, width of substrates and length of substrates in function of lambda zero and the other case if we talk about uh, gated wave so here we talk about to uh, the electric constants of substrates for example we will for any antenna or a coupler or filter that have with electric substrate so we can we cannot work in free space but we have uh, to work in gated uh, with gated wave okay so for this uh, if we suppose that our electric constant equal epsilon r so lambda g uh, equal lambda zero divided by uh, root squares of uh, our effective permittivity okay the electric constant effective so the question that we can put how we can find effective electric constants okay so for that we have two cases the first case if we have the ratio between the width of the line divided by uh, chicken ships that inferior to one so in this case we, have, we work with this equation we have uh, effective the electric constant equal epsilon r plus one divided by two and we work with this equation okay and the other case if uh, the ratio between the width and the height of ships that superior or equal one so in this case we have other equation so we work this equation epsilon fx equal equal epsilon r plus one divided by two plus this equation okay so we have two cases the first if w pair h inferior 
to one and to second f w uh, per h superior or equal one okay so if we we know uh, our height of substrate and width of feed line we can know which uh, relation we can use and we can find uh, epsilon effective okay so if you find epsilon effective and we have the wavelength in this space we can find lambda g get the wavelength okay so in this case we if we have epsilon effective we can find lambda g so we can find our substrate uh, in function of lambda g so for our case we have w substrate divided by lambda g and uh, w substrate equal 50 divided by lambda g so if we find w lambda g so we can find the results of our w substrate it's the same for the length of substrate so we divide by the git wave length and we have the length of our substrate equal uh, 80 millimeter okay divided by lambda g in millimeter so we can find uh, the length of our ships rise in function of lambda g okay so this is the method used to find uh, the dimensions of any structure like uh, antennas filters uh, couplers uh, power dividers okay so we will we need more to find uh, lambda g or lambda zero and after we can find our dimensions in function of lambda g or lambda zero okay so if uh, you need something if you need something not clear you can contact us on our youtube channel or on our facebook page okay so see you soon in another video okay good luck